Friends, a lot of you have been asking me about the super order that Dhan has launched. So Dhan has this new feature called super order, which is pretty interesting. It allows you to place orders with your target with stop loss and a trailing stop loss together for any kind of order. It could be an intraday order, it could be a cash and carry investment or it could be a pay later which is MTF. So how do you use super order on Dhan and what are the charges associated with it? So I'll clarify all of this with you and also help you avoid a couple of key mistakes which many people make with these orders. First up, if I select any stock, say ICICI, I can go to the buy screen over here and I'm taking this as an example only. Here you will see that within trading, pay later and investing, all three has a super order option available. So I'll go into the investing mode, which is cash and carry and select super. Now super, remember is feature is in beta and the first time you use this feature, you will have to click uh, accept. I have already placed my first order. So you will not see that accept confirmation show up. But as soon as you place a trade, the first time you do it, you have to activate this order. So that option will show up for you. So that's an additional step which you will see. Now within super order A, you are buying something at a given price. Sure, you have to add a target and a stop loss. Now you have this option over here to add both of them together along with your main order. Example, if I buy ICICI at 1359 over here, by default, I have a target set at 1393 and a stop loss at 1325. I can tweak them by selecting 1.5% for say both of them. And this is completely for example, this is not based on any analysis. So what would happen is after my main order is placed, at 1380 automatically my profit will be booked and my stop loss order will be cancelled or if the market drops to 1339 this stop loss would be triggered and my target order would be cancelled so this will place a oco order or a bracket order for me together but one more amazing thing over here is a trail jump and you should remember that both of these orders are valid for one year so my target and stop loss validity is one year, which is also pretty good because this is a cash and carry trade. So this would be an investment. I need to pay the full margin to occupy this stock. Now over here, I can also add a trail jump. What does a trail jump mean? Trail jump means that whenever the price of this stock increases by one rupee or whatever amount I set over here, my stop loss will also increase by that amount. So if the price of ICICI bank is going up, my stop loss will also keep moving up and chasing it accordingly, which means if the market drops, I will have my stop loss automatically adjusted. This is called a trailing stop loss. Given the price of this stock, I am comfortable adding my trailing stop loss to 5. So for every 5 rupee jump over here in ICICI bank, my trailing stop loss will also go up by with 5. I will still use 1 as an example in this trade. Over here, I'm going to click instant buy and using the margin on my account, this trade has been placed. This is a test trade. I have not selected this stock, so it's not a recommendation. Do remember that. Now over here, you can see I have a supers order over here. I can track all of my super orders over here. And within the active order, which means the order which has been executed, I have ICICI bank as a trade right here. Now my ICICI bank order is here. I can track its live PNL. And if the price goes up by say one rupee, which is my trail jump, my stop loss will also go from 1339.25 to 1340.25. So that would happen if the price goes up. Now what has happened over here basically is my first trade, let me click on this tile icon over here to show it more clearly. My first buy trade over here has gone to the market and I have two sell orders waiting, both of them with a one year validity. These are for my stop loss and for my target. If I go to positions, I can see the trade there as well. I can see this delivery purchase over here. If I go to orders, it will also show up under orders as a super order over here for ICICI. Now, do remember this, that if I want to exit this trade, I should ideally go to positions and exit my current position from here 
but I will have to come back to super and cancel these two manually because right now the way these two are structured, this will only get cancelled if this triggers and this will only get cancelled if this triggers. So it is one cancels other. That is how this works. Let me also exit this trade and show you how that happens. I will go to my positions. I'll go to ICICI bank and I will click on exit position and I'll click instant sell. But I'll have to come back to my super tab and within super tab, I will have to cancel both of these as well. So both of these I would have to cancel manually because I decided to exit the position by myself. Similarly, for another position which you see over here, I have another super order position. If I go to positions, my open position is Yes Bank, which is again a super order over here. If I am within super, what I could do is I could first cancel my stop loss and target myself, which means I just need to go to position and this becomes a regular intraday order, which I can then exit by myself. So this would be a manual exit without any risk protection because my target and stop loss were already deleted. So that's how super orders are placed. There are no extra charges for this, but exiting the order, do remember that you need to exit it carefully because you are placing multiple orders over here and you have to make sure that you have canceled all the orders if you manually exit your position. Do remember one more thing that your charges for your regular trading, whatever charges for your intraday trading, whatever charges for your delivery trading, all of that will apply normally, but there are no extra charges for using the super order feature. If you have any questions, do let me know in comments.